dear students we will discuss the next part of uh, differential equations uh, in the previous up to previous session we studied two methods of solving the differential equations one is uh, separation of variables and another one is homogeneous differential equations the next one is if these two cases are going to be failed in certain differential equations then it may be the case of uh, not a homogeneous and not a separation of variables. So, apart from these two methods, how the next method can be studied in uh, two situations that means two cases and using those two cases how the non-homogeneous differential equation can be reduced to the uh, homogeneous differential equation and how this is going to be solved. <coughs> that is uh, equations reducible to homogeneous otherwise it is called as non-homogeneous. You can also write uh, uh, ODEs reducible to reducible to homogeneous ODE. Here two cases we will discuss by taking the coefficients of uh, dx and dy. Here both the coefficients in the case of non-homogeneous differential equations will be exactly compared with the equations of straight lines in the geometry. Then first coefficient of dx will be in the form of ax plus by plus c and in the second uh, equation also uh, that means second coefficient of dy that is also will be compared with uh, ax plus by plus c. Then we will take these two equations and we will solve if these two equations are giving the same values of x and y then we will see that uh, one type of uh, geometric structure and if these two are giving the point of intersection or uh, different then these two uh, will give uh, another type of geometrical structure. Let us see how this uh, standard uh, general form of the non-homogeneous differential equation behaves. Uh, as I told you that before I move on to the concept of uh, non-homogeneous that means an equation which is identified as non-homogeneous which can be reduced to the homogeneous form. When once you reduce to the homogeneous form already the procedure you know that uh, put y is equal to vx and then dy is equal to v into dx plus x into dv. So that is the situation where we are going to apply. The general form of non-homogeneous ODE is that is A1x plus B1y plus of C1 into dx plus of A2x plus B2y and plus of C2, C2 that is dy equal to 0. This is the only standard form we study under the heading as non-homogeneous differential equations. You remember differential equations in engineering problems will appear in various forms. Maybe they are uh, coming under the category as separation of variables, maybe they are coming in under the category of uh, homogeneous, non-homogeneous, exact like that. So future methods later we will discuss. But presently uh, this is called non-homogeneous differential equation when C1 and C2 are independent constants. But in this case all the six values were, were A1, comma B1, comma C1, comma A2, comma B2, and C2 are the constants. Why this equation 1 is called as non-homogeneous? How we are going to consider this equation as non-homogeneous differential equation? The reason is simple. Here A1 into x means x degree 1, B1 into y means y degree 1 and C1 into no variable is there. Therefore, no variable is there means no degree you can notice which is equal to 1. Therefore, 
here degree 1, degree 1 and uh, even if you take x or y degree it should be 0 and it is not uniform. If one term is uh, different from the homogene homogeneous form, then you cannot declare the whole equation as uh, uh, a homogeneous differential equation. It may be non-homogeneous differential equation. But most of the problems will fall uh, of the standard type that is a1 uh, x plus b1 y plus c1 uh, dx because it is a case of two variables x and y and dx and dy only must, uh, must be present and a2x plus b2y plus c2 dy is equal to 0. Okay. So, mentally you must get prepared and how to proceed to the next step uh, is uh, the only goal that these two constants are to be eliminated. These two constants are to be eliminated then you will get homogeneous form. Okay. Here we discuss two cases. First case how it is going to be written as solution and in the second case how it is going to be written in the solution. So, in the case 1 if, if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 then, then uh, you have to consider that is uh, a1 x plus b1 y is equal to some other symbol with this because already this, uh, this type you have studied in the previous uh, homogeneous type right. Then uh, in the case 2 if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 divided by it is b2 then solve for x and y solve for x and y. Hope you have understood what is the meaning of solve for x and y. x and y will be the point of intersection. Okay. Then further what you will do? After, after taking this solving for x and y, here anyway you will do that. This implies a1 into dx plus b1 into dy, then it is dt. That means either you can take dy in terms of dx and dt or you can take dx in terms of dt and dy. There are two options uh, are possible from that expectation. Now, from this expectation, you will uh, solve for x and y which acts as a point of intersection for the geometrical structure. Then we will take like this x is equal to u plus k or uh, u plus h for symbol and y is equal to v plus k. x is equal to u plus h and y is equal to u plus k. That means h and k, h and k is the point of intersection, is the point of intersection. This is followed by what values of derivatives? This is dx equal to du and dy this is equal to dv. Okay? These are the details are sufficient to understand the non-homogeneous differential equation which can be reduced to the homogeneous differential equation. These two cases separately you must work out these two cases. This clearly indicates these two straight lines. Actually these are the two straight lines. They are parallel like this these two straight lines. But whenever uh, this value is not equal to b1 by b2 that means a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then you will find the point of intersection between those two lines. This is one line representing a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and this quantity represents another straight line, another straight line uh, that is a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. When these two lines are intersecting, that means you can make out like this, like this, this is the point of intersection, right? The angle made by these two lines. So, this is the case when a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by 
B2 that means case number 2 and you have to find out the point of intersection between these two and name that point of intersection as uh, that is H comma K this one H comma K this is the point of intersection but lines are parallel means like this lines are parallel then no need of finding the point of intersection because you cannot get the values of unknowns then this is the these two lines are parallel then how to parallel means it is in the form of non homogeneous differential equation but how to solve this when the case is uh, it is equal to parallel then summation of either this quantity or this quantity you take into some other variable then differentiate x with respect to uh, x as dx and y as dy and uh, t as dt remember only those two cases one is uh, two lines are parallel and the another one is two lines are intersecting okay so this should be in your mind because it is only the uh, uh, correlation or comparison i can say with the geometrical structure when the two lines are parallel means the coefficients must be same and when the two lines are intersecting the coefficients of uh, that means ratio of the coefficients of these two uh, uh, quantities of dx and dy uh, must not be same when they are same lines are parallel when they are not same lines are intersecting that is the geometrical structure so when we have this type of uh, situation then it is very comfortable to study differential equations of that nature how non homogeneous differential equations can be reduced to the uh, homogeneous differential equations but we are we are taking this x is equal to u plus h means u is variable v is variable h is constant and k is constant then you are writing x as differentiation that is uh, dx and u as differentiation that is du and y as differentiation dy and v as differentiation it is dv therefore based on this information i shall write uh, uh, two or three problems on this non homogeneous differential equation let us see how this uh, case or how this concept uh, can be applied uh, very easily to the situations where we declare uh, the given differential equation is said to be non homogeneous differential equation okay uh, uh, you have to analyze right from the first method immediately it will not give the idea that it, this is a uh, non homogeneous differential equation unless you verify the degree of the coefficients of both uh, uh, values values which are appeared as complete uh, coefficients of dx and complete coefficients of dy let me take uh, first example based on this information i will solve the example exactly according to this uh, verification first one solve dy by dx otherwise it is given as m dx okay x plus y minus 1 it is dx and plus x plus 2y plus 1 it is dy equal to 0 one or two problems now i'll write uh, first two problems you have to understand uh, in depth of both the problems in depth of both the problems means first problem i may write first problem without initial condition because constant of integration will be remaining after the integration is done integration means integration without uh, initial condition will leave the constant which is, which will remain in the final solution okay then if x value is given and y value is given at the end you can calculate the value of the constant in particular that is called particular solution okay so it's a simple case now first how you have to start your journey uh, of analyzing the problem first whether it is possible to uh, apply the method of separation of variables if it is fine if it if it works then go for it because of this independent constant term and summation of these two different symbols here also summation of these two different symbols it is not possible to separate the variables right now but we will bring it to the uh, stage where uh, uh, separation of variables can can also be possible and then we can integrate <coughs> and 
the next immediate uh, observation is whether it is homogeneous or not homogeneous. If it is said to be homogeneous means degree must be same, but here 1 is there and here constant 1 is there. So, it is not a homogeneous differential equation. Then it is certain that uh, the problem is said to be non-homogeneous differential equation. Okay. Now, if you take in the solution the coefficients define define x plus y minus 1 is equal to a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1. Okay. You make this one as 0. Let us see how the values of x and y will fall. We will verify based on that and x plus 2 y and uh, plus 1 is equal to a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 is equal to 0. Simple comparison. This coefficient one equation of straight line, this coefficient another equation of straight line. Then uh, we will see that uh, whether these two straight lines will uh, be parallel or these two straight lines are the uh, intersecting lines. Okay, we will solve these equations. Otherwise, the according to case one and two, we will verify. Okay, here a one by a two. What is the answer? A one by a two because a one is one and uh, a two is also one. One divided by one is equal to one. Okay. Another case b1 divided by it is b2. So, b1 is 1 and uh, b2 is 2. Therefore, here it is very clear this implies a1 divided by a2 is not equal to b1 divided by b2. Then what is your conclusion? If this is the case, that means two lines are intersecting like this. Uh, because a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. When these two lines are intersecting, then we will find out the angle of intersection. Okay. Angle of intersection means you have to solve these two equations. Then solving, solving that means x plus y minus 1 equal to 0 and x plus 2 y plus 1 equal to 0. You have to solve. You go for the simple method. Simple method means co make coefficients same and then uh, uh, solve the two simultaneous equations and work out for x and y. On subtraction, this cancels. Then uh, on subtraction means this is minus y and this is minus 2 equal to 0. What is the value of y? y is equal to minus of 2. y is equal to minus of 2. And if you take y is equal to minus 2, then what is the value of x? x is equal to 1 and minus 2 plus 2. That becomes 3, I think. So, in place of y, you are giving as minus 2, minus 2, minus 1 is minus 3. Taking right side, it is equal to plus 3. Therefore, point of intersection, these two lines, the point of intersection point of intersection means x comma y is equal to h comma k is equal to how much x value is 3 and uh, y value is it is minus 2 3 comma minus 2 h, h comma k is the point of intersection then 3 comma minus 2 happens to be the values of x and y but it is the point on the straight line it is the point on the straight line Everywhere the straight line is a combination of points here also, here also like that. But one point which acts as a point of intersection that will be uh, 3 comma minus 2. After getting that put x equal to u plus h right and y is equal to v plus k. What is x equal to u plus h? u plus h is uh, 3 and y is equal to v minus 2. Here no mistakes should happen because if there is any small error then it will not be reduced to the homogeneous differential equation type. Now I expect this uh, to be homogeneous differential equation type then 
these will help us that means these uh, assumptions will help us to the removal of this constant exactly but we will verify how these uh, uh, newly taken values will avoid minus 1 here and then plus 1 there. Therefore, x equal to this one means dx equal to du and dy is equal to it is dv. Then if you represent this equation as 1, then in 1 if you put these values x plus y okay, uh, that is uh, x is equal to u plus 3. In place of x you substitute u plus 3. Okay. In place of y, you substitute v minus 2, right, and minus 1, correct? Huh? This is multiplied by, in place of dx, you have to write it as du, and there is a plus sign in between, put it, and uh, in the second bracket, x value, x is u plus 3 and in place of y multiplied by 2 that is 2y sorry 2v this is y is equal to v minus 2 and uh, <coughs> minus 4 and plus 1. Uh, what else? I think it is over that is u plus 3 in place of x in place of y v minus 2 multiplied by 2 and plus 1 as it is and dy means it is dv that is equal to 0. Now, you understand every step here, uh, the main purpose of uh, writing uh, the introduction of the point into the equation, the point into the equation along with uh, uh, the point of intersection values, right. That will help us to eliminate these constants exactly in the present step it is going to be eliminated. You can see practically now what is that here 3 is there with plus minus 2 is there minus 1 is there. This easily can be cancelled. Then 3 is there and plus 1 gives us 4 cancels with minus 4. You can notice how this problem with that procedure uh, which was uh, non-homogeneous uh, changed into homogeneous form. What is that? Final uh, uh, simplified form is that is first symbol is u and next symbol is v with plus sign and uh, du this is du and plus of inside the bracket that is u and inside the bracket 2v and outside the bracket that is dv equal to 0 check this differential equation. You have got completely different uh, uh, type of differential equation because you are given the differential equation with the symbols as x and y that means variables x and y. Now you got the step that is in terms of u and v. Uh, let it be in, in terms of any variable but the main aim is to convert from non-homogeneous to the homogeneous form. Now this I uh, directly accept this is a homogeneous differential equation. So, how it is u degree 1, v degree 1, u degree 1 and v degree 1 that means it is uniform. It is uniform means throughout this step the degree is 1 therefore, it is called homogeneous differential equation of degree 1. Now, you can uh, without any hesitation you can write this is this is homogeneous this is homogeneous ODE of degree 1. This is the only procedure even if you solve 100 problems these steps must be understood, these steps procedures must be followed uh, because here it is non-homogeneous because of independent constant term, there is no constant term here. This procedure will help us to convert from non-homogeneous to the homogeneous form because homoge after homogeneous we know the procedure to solve the differential equation. Okay. When once it is homogeneous ODE then we will go for the substitution. Put a V is equal to 
u into z just like uh, y is equal to v into x it is uh, in place of uh, v i am taking it as z and in place of x i am taking it as u in place of y i am taking it as v then dv is equal to u into dz plus z into it is du this must be known to you because even uh, for the time being if you assume uh, for example if you are not finding comfortable with these symbols uh, uh, immediately you change that in terms of x and y but not connecting to the given problem then you will feel uh, much familiar with the same symbols as x and y okay but there is no need to change uh, uh, what i know what i understand or what i suggest because um, those x and y whatever the symbols given in the problem should not be uh, uh, confused with uh, the same symbols if you are going to choose as x and y okay then afterwards you will have to write in terms of back that is u and v and later what is u means that is uh, x is equal to u plus 3 u is equal to 3 will be taken to the left side and y is equal to v minus 2 what is v means 2 will be taken to the left side finally we will leave the answer in that way then what is uh, uh, introduction of these two values here u remains to be same because we are retaining u and u into z here and in place of du write as it is and plus of u as it is and this is u into z because you are taking v is equal to u into z exactly similar to the uh, form in the homogeneous y is equal to vx and dy is equal to v into dx plus x into dv exactly of this type we are going to follow u plus 2 uz okay and then in place of dv this quantity is to be substituted that is u into dz plus of z into du this is equal to 0. Now after this uh, uh, you have to collect the common uh, coefficients of the common derivatives. Uh, what are the common derivatives uh, appeared in this step? One is du and another one is du here. Therefore, you can collect the common coefficients of du, put it in the first position and second position it is dz, then you can rearrange the terms for uh, integration. Then collecting the coefficients of du, u plus uz, one thing. Uh, I think uh, you also you can cancel this is du and here du is there and this is multiplied by z okay u into z this one and two times this is u into z into z you are getting it is z square it is z square and what else this is du and plus of this must be u into 1 plus 2z it is dz that is equal to 0 check this and everywhere u is common you can cancel that u this is u this is u this is u this is u and this is u throughout this step u is common if it is of first degree first degree of that symbol will cancel if it is of second degree second degree of that symbol will cancel as you have seen in uh, uh, homogeneous differential equation okay now what is the next step you have to write the remaining terms in the form of z and u if it remains as u okay here it is 1 plus z plus z plus 2 times z square 2 times z square okay this is du right and plus of 1 plus 2z it is dz that is equal to 0 1 plus 2z in the next step plus 2z square right 1 plus 2z uh, plus 2z square this is for the first term right into du 
प्लस वन प्लस टू जेड इंटू डी जेड इक्वल टू जीरो हियर इट इज यू दट इज डी जेड आई थिंक आई नीड टू राइट यू आई लेफ्ट दट यू आफ्टर कैंसलिंग दिस वन यू आई हैव टेकन हियर एंड वन यू रिमेन्स दट यू शुड बी रिटर्न हियर ओके देन so this is uh, the coefficient for du and this is the coefficient along with u for dz fine now you have to write dividing by u into we have to remove this u here and we have to remove this coefficient because separating the variables separating the variables means grouping uh, u terms in first position z terms in second position then dividing by u we get uh, dividing by u and uh, the product and the product this one 1 plus 2z plus 2z square what is that then d du divided by u one term 1 plus 2z in the numerator and in the denominator 1 plus 2z Plus of two z square. This is the coefficient for d z. This is the uh, correct stage where we reached, and it is ready for the integration. Okay. Here you can see that uh, how this is uh, uh, to be integrated because completely this is free from z, and this is completely free from u. Therefore. separation of variables stage is accepted at this level when we transferred x and y into u and v and further u and v uh, with this substitution helped us to reduce the problem into separation of variables now the uh, next step of writing the solution is this much that is integrating integrating every term you can say that is du divided by u plus of 1 plus 2z divided by 1 plus 2z plus of 2 times z square 2 times z square and then dz that is equal to it is zero okay is it the simple uh, term that you can think of for the integration is it the simple term or for you it is a complicated i hope uh, this is a direct approach anyway this is a log function and this is also a log function you need not to do anything because exactly derivative of this whatever that uh, f dash x divided by f of x dx Z equal to log of denominator. That is log of f of x. It is appeared in that form. That means differentiation of denominator when it appears in the numerator, then integration of ratio of such function is log of denominator. That is your formula. Using this formula, both are in the ready position. This one must be with integration. Okay. So this is log u. right and this is also uh, if you take the differentiation what happens here that is 2 okay here plus 4 z if you take 2 outside that is 1 plus 2 z already 1 plus 2 z is there therefore 2 is the extra term which is not available there then you need to add it is 1 by 2 log of 1 plus 2z plus 2 times z square. Then uh, right side it is only the constant. Okay. Then both are uh, u. That is uh, log uh, u is there, and here this is also log is there. Anyway, one more step I I can write like this: u plus log of okay 1 plus 2z. Plus two times 
it is z square whole to the power half is equal to uh, c as it is whole to the power half c uh, that is equal to c as it is okay uh, integration of 0 I have written first term is log second term is log uh, right side uh, uh, 0 integration is constant that is right then this is log of m plus log of n that is log m in log m into n therefore log of it is u into that is 1 plus 2z plus 2z square and whole to the power half whole to the power half and this is equal to c then what you have to write this is e to the power e to the power rising on both sides by exponential as a base exponential as a base means for what purpose we take exponential as a base that means you have to remove the log on uh, both sides if it is there but here log is on one side you can remove that so e to the power log okay u into 1 plus 2z 2z square whole to the power half that is equal to e to the power c this you can call it as some capital a that is also a constant then e to the power log x is x therefore u into 1 plus 2z plus of it is 2z square what else left with us whole to the power half that is equal to constant this is your final answer but it is not the final one because but for this step it is the final answer because you are given not u and v uh, that is u and uh, v or z something like that we have what is the value of u actually the point of intersection you had uh, 3 comma minus 2 right 3 comma minus 2 was the point of intersection okay uh, then x is equal to 3 and y is equal to minus 2 therefore you have to substitute back that means what is the value of z you had taken z equal to that is equal to uh, v is equal to u and v that means v is equal to u into z then z is equal to v by u what is v by u v is equal to y plus k and u is equal to x plus h what is h, uh, h and k 3 comma minus 2 then y uh, this is y is y plus k you are going to write y plus k that means h comma k then y minus 2 and x plus h divided by x plus 3 so in place of z that much you write in place of v this much you write in place of u this denominator you can write so in place of u i am taking x plus 3 because you have to leave the answer in terms of x and y then this is multiplied by 1 plus 2 times z z is y minus 2 divided by x plus 3 okay plus of it is 2 times y minus 2 and x plus 3 this is whole square and whole to the power half and this is equal to constant this is the final answer which you are expecting the original symbol as x as the variable given in the problem and original symbol as y but these z v and u these three symbols we had taken as new symbols all these three symbols we are taken as new symbols then in these three new symbols uh, we need to leave the answer in terms of the given symbols in terms of the given symbols means x and y okay so this is your final step then to find this value of a if any condition is given then you need to write the value of uh, that uh, constant in particular maybe i will see in the next problem if the condition is given i will use it 
then uh, I shall take another example where uh, the condition is to be calculated. I will check uh, uh, for that uh, <coughs> condition. Uh, let us see how this uh, condition is to be verified uh, for uh, calculation of the particular constant. Okay. Solve x plus y minus 1 dx plus of 2x plus 2y plus 1 into dy equal to 0. Here it is given x equal to 2 and y is equal to 2. This is given. Here condition is given. All that uh, 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 you are expecting to uh, write the value of arbitrary constant in terms of particular value. That condition will help us. How we have to proceed after writing this constant which will not leave the final answer in terms of arbitrary constant. Let us see how this step behaves with us. And same type of uh, verifications, but this is a uh, second case uh, uh, situation. This is not of the previous uh, type of problem because a1 by a2 in the previous case lines were intersecting and uh, you, you, you found that uh, uh, point of intersection between these two lines, but in this problem lines are parallel like this because these coefficients are same 1, 1, 2, 2 that means 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2. Uh, sorry, 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 you are getting. So, when the lines are parallel, there is no angle. There is no angle means point of intersection never exists. But when there are, uh, there is a point of intersection, then h is not 0 and k is not 0. That we will work out in this problem. Solution, because once again because of these two terms presence, it is a non-homogeneous, directly you write it is non-homogeneous, it is non-homogeneous, uh, you can call it as ODE, non-homogeneous ODE. Uh, if it was homogeneous, for example, if minus 1 and plus 1 in these two locations were not there, then what degree you can expect? Degree is 1 because x degree 1 and y degree 1 and same thing in that bracket also. Okay. So, now we will take the coefficients as straight lines that is x plus y minus 1 equal to 0, 2x plus 2y plus 1 equal to 0. Here this will be compared with what? a1x, b1y plus c1 equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0, right? Then with this what is your conclusion? a1 by a2, what is the answer? a1 by a2, a1 is 1, uh, this is 1 divided by 2 and b1 by b2 is what? b1 by b2 means 1 divided by 2, that is a coefficient of y. So, it is clear that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 implies implies two lines implies two lines are parallel. Two lines are parallel means this is the case, these two lines. Then what is your h and k? h and k will become 0, 0. That means there is no point of intersection exists, right? If these are uh, not 0, 0, lines are intersecting. That is the conclusion. Only these two cases you remember in this non-homogeneous differential equation. Okay? Do not study any of the other techniques, uh, uh, other uh, situations in this non-homogeneous up to this uh, uh, MATDIP uh, 301 syllabus. It is restricted up to these two cases. One is uh, A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2. And another case is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. That means lines are parallel and lines are intersecting. That's all. 
only these two cases you go into the depth of the uh, analysis of the problems. Now, uh, even you need not to solve because already it has been declared that is these two values are coinciding. These two values are coinciding means uh, you need not to solve for that because even if you solve you will get the values as 0 even if you solve because if you solve these equ for example, if you solve these equations what happens tell me you will you will multiply this 2 you will multiply this 2 and you will multiply this 2. So, this cancels this cancels then x equal to 0 that is equal to y that is h comma k is equal to 0 comma 0 that means two lines are parallel when the two lines are parallel there is no angle exists angle uh, uh, between these two lines uh, there is there is there is no intersection happens so that when they are parallel then uh, we take uh, directly some quantity that is x plus y is equal to something otherwise uh, 2x plus 2y is equal to some other variable. This is the only option you have to choose to reduce this non-homogeneous to the homogeneous form. That means here minus 1 is there and plus 1 is there you have to eliminate. Fine. Now, uh, it is non-homogeneous of case 2 you have to write. If you want you can write it is non-homogeneous ODE of case 2 according to our theoretical discussion. Case 2 is what? this one case 2 is equal to a 1 by a 2 is equal to b 1 by b 2. So, now we will take uh, one quantity we will take one quantity in terms of some variable right we will do that anyway x plus y minus 1 it is dx this equation I will rewrite in another form because 2 is common here uh, then I will write 2 into x plus y okay and plus 1 it is dy equal to 0. So, now my assumption starts summation I am taking put x plus y is equal to t this gives dy is equal to dt minus of it is dx okay and uh, uh, here this summation I am giving and dy I am going to replace it is not a rule that uh, you, you have to replace dy only you can also replace uh, dx in terms of the other two symbols ok. With this I would like to stop and then uh, I will uh, continue the problems on this non homogeneous another one or two problems in my next lecture and then uh, till that you continue this step and then do that this non homogeneous will be reduced to the homogeneous form. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.